in our last lecture on entrepreneurship we had talked about small and medium entrepreneurs and innovation driven enterprises small and medium entrepreneurs as we discussed have a narrow horizon have a very limited cash flow and they are not innovative on the other hand innovation driven enterprises are highly innovative and as a part of protecting their innovation they also go for what is called protecting of their intellectual properties through trademark copyright patent etc in this presentation i will try to provide you an insight into the indian entrepreneurship through the data from patent office indian patent office is a public office and therefore its data are available from time to time i have tried to analyze those data in a small way i should say in a very limited way uh, to give you an overview of what is really going on in the area of patents in our country i have told you that innovation driven enterprises very quickly go for patenting their innovations uh, which uh, they claim as inventions and therefore they quickly go for patenting it if you search the indian patent office indian patent office maintains a indian patent advance search system and i have tried to search how many patents uber has filed uber is an american company they must have uh, filed several patents in usa and they have also filed patent application in india as you see they have already filed six patent applications in 2017 and 2016 so i had tried to get extract some data from the indian patent office and i tried to find out how many patents uber has filed in india and as i find in 2016 and 17 uber has filed about 6 patent applications so if you inquire about other innovation driven companies they are filing uh, patent applications in their country of origin as well as in india and various other countries so this proves my first point that innovation driven enterprises always try to protect their intellectual properties now little bit of understanding about the indian patent office the indian patent act 97 controls the patent registration in india but one big development has happened which is india has become the member of trade related intellectual property rights or trip system which is a global system it has signed the paris convention and the budapest convention and therefore india is now fully integrated into the world patenting system one development as a result of this has happened is india has moved from process patent to product patent regime now what was the process patent regime in a process patent regime the same product if you manufacture through a different process you can get patent indian pharmaceutical example like indian pharmaceutical industry for example have uh, produced different molecules using a little different system and have got patenting i mean they have got uh, what is called more or less clone patenting these days they have patented a drug which is available in the west but they have produced it in a little different process and they have got patent for it because process patent was in vogue but now product patent regime has come and in this you cannot pass through because every product will have only one patent every unique product will have only one unique patent so the patent regime in india 
has changed a little after India has become a part of the trip. Now what is the patent filing process? You have to file the patent. A patent is normally published for public view after 18 months, but you can demand a priority publication also and you can request it for a publication after one month. The examination of patent does not touch automatically. Inventor has to make an application for examination within 48 months from the date of the application. Then the examination started, the process is written over in the slide and ultimately the patent is granted or not granted. So this is precisely the patenting process. Now every innovation or every invention cannot be patented. There are certain restrictions. Invention means a new product or a process involving an inventive step and is capable of industrial application. Something which has no industrial application cannot be patented. For example, pure scientific theories cannot be patented because they, they are not industrial applications. Inventive stress means a feature of an invention that involves technical advance as compared to existing knowledge having economic significance or both and that makes the invention not obvious to a person skilled in the art. In India, software per se is not patentable. In China and EU also the same situation, but a software which is connected with the hardware or which gives some advantage in terms of application can still be patented. In India, as per the Indian law, which is more or less in line with the global laws, the following cannot be patented. Fervilous claims, inventions affecting public order, only scientific principles which I have already discussed, jumbling of chemical or mechanical elements not improving any efficacy methods of agriculture or horticulture, methods of treatment of human beings, seeds, spices, literally musical or dramatical work, they cannot be patented because they are covered by copyright act, games presentation and business methods cannot be presented, software per se cannot be presented as I have already discussed, but software in association with the hardware or certain application can still be patented. Now there are, there could be various kinds of invention. The purpose of this slide is to, in, is to carry home this point. You are seeing a very advanced invention where this person is in a swimming pool. He is wearing a band, a wrist band and that band is throwing light onto the surface of his hand which is basically his skin and there it can be used as a mobile phone. There are, there are A, B, C, D and numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He can easily phone by pressing those numbers. He can make a call. He can maybe visit some websites all on the skin of his hand. This is a technology on which work is going on in Korea. South Korea and USA and certainly this will be patented. This is another invention trying to be patented. This is basically the communication between two satellites through the laser technology which is supposed to be faster, more condensed, carry more data and bring about a revolution in inter-satellite communications. On this work is going on in China, Russia and USA. So these are the real inventions. I mean an invention which has a long term consequences, which is a basically 
a leap forward. But all inventions are not like this. Look at this next invention. This is also an invention. You are using a uh, pen. The tip of the pen instead of being a cover has been molded into some spoon or some knife or some fork and it has a dual use in the sense you can write with this pen and you can also use it during your lunch hours to take food. But you will all agree that this is not an invention per se with the earlier inventions that we have talked about. These are basically the design patent. This can not be patented as a as a real invention, but as a design you can patent it. People are trying to take inventive steps and take uh, patents on say orange pillars, coconut cutters, vegetable slices, slicers etc. So, these are good for statistical purpose, but if you say in reality it is not improving our life very qualitatively. So, basically we have two types of patent, one is a product patent and another is a design patent. Worldwide the life of product patent is always higher than the life of design patent. For example, in India the design patent has a life of 10 years and product patent has a life of 20 years. Now, I shall bring your attention to some data which is again Indian data from the Indian patent office. This basically gives the data of patent filed, the patent that have been granted and patent that have not been granted. So, if you see in 2015-16 for example, 46,904 patents were filed. In itself it is a quite a big number, but when comes to disposal 21,987 patents have been granted or have been refused or have been withdrawn or have been abandoned. So, only granted number of patents is 6,326. That means, although they may not be identical in the scale of years, but basically out of 46,000 filing a granting rate is only 6326. This 6326 could have been filed in earlier years which have been granted in 2015-16. So, in terms of granting rate the patent acceptance is quite low. Now, the names of the major Indian patent applicants are on your screen the Council of Scientific Research, Samsung R&D Institute, it is qualifying as an Indian company because it is incorporated in India, Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited, Indian Institute of Technology and DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, they are the major patent applicants. Five foreign entities, uh, they have GM Global, Qualcomm, LG Electronics, Conica like Philips Electronics and Honda Motors Limited. So, as you see uh, there are there is a mixed bag uh, in the patent applications of India there is quite a large presence for foreign companies or Indian subsidiary of foreign companies like Samsung India as I told. Now, Top Indian applicants for patent for scientific research and development organization, uh, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Samsung, Director General of Defense Research, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, Hetero Research Foundation, GHR Lab, Indian Space Research Organization, etcetera, etcetera. The list is on your screen. Now, I will dwell a little about the trend worldwide so far as the academics are concerned and the role of the academics in 
obtaining the patent. Worldwide, advanced institutes file patent application for ring, ring fencing their invention infrastructure. They also do it for income generation. But some institutions in India could be doing it for statistical satisfaction and publicity only. Or in other words, you file a patent application, you do not follow it vigorously <coughs> and you allow 48 months or more to expire and you file another patent application on something else and statistically you show that you are going on applying for new and new patents, but when it comes to approval of the patent, your patent approval rating is very low almost nil as you can all you have already seen the patent application approval in India is not so high and in many cases for many institutions it is just nil. Now as per the Indian Patent Act under 146 under section 146 of the act the Indian Patent Authority is authorized to inquire with the inventor what he is doing with the patent. Suppose a person or an entity has been granted a patent, then under section 146 of the Indian Patent Act, the entity is bound to respond to any query of the Indian Patent Office as to what he is doing with the patent or in other words, has he converted the patent into a commercial application, is he extracting profit or is generating business out of this patent. Now, such inquiries are sent by the patent office from time to time, the data is on your screen. Number of patent in force in 2015-16 was 44,524. Out of that you, you have seen number of responses received under section 146 is 39,507, that is 39,500 seven entities or persons has responded to the query of the patent office. And from this response, the patent office has come into conclusion that 8589 patents are only working commercially. That means, out of this 44,000 odd patent, only 8000 odd patents are working commercially, rest of them are just statistics. So, your role as a student, as an MBA when you will pass out is to see that the patent activity of your company, of your entity or if you run an organization, your organization does not lag, does not fall behind. They are really genuine serious efforts to get commercial patents because that is the money, the money lies in the patent and when you have commercially exploitable patent, nobody can touch you for 20 years on the same subject on the same this in invention. Therefore, it is almost a license to you for 20 years to exploit the patent unhinderedly, commercially. Therefore, you have to be very conscious about your patents. In 2015-16, the number of patent application received was 46,904 out of which uh, in the same year not only out of this, but out of earlier applications also in the same year 13,908 patents have been abandoned. That means, the organization who had filed the patent are not taking any interest in either publishing the patent or maybe after publishing the patent it is not asking the examiner to examine the patent. Therefore it is being considered as abundant. Coming to total number of application received as you see over here is 46,904. Out of that IITs have made 391 applications, Indian Council of Scientific Research has made 323 applications. IIT approval patent approval rating is also very low. In 2015-16 they have got approval of 40 patents. So, when it comes to a organization like IIT, you can imagine what is the state of affairs of our second and third tier of in universities or learning institutions who are hardly getting any patents. Worldwide, what is the situation? Worldwide, the situation can be seen from a Reuters study. 
the writer every year publishes a list of most innovative universities. Now, how do they, they have many criteria, but how do they assess this basically they want to see how many patents have been filed, how many patents have been commercially exploited, what is the translation rate uh, of these patents into commercial and how long this is taking from uh, moving from lab to real production and as per this sorry and as per this study the list is before you the Stanford, Massachusetts, Harvard, University of Pennsylvania, KU, KU Leuven, KEST which is a South Korean university, University of Washington, University of Michigan system. These are the top universities in terms of writer list as most innovative universities. In this list none of the Indian universities appear. This is a sorry state of affair, even IITs do not appear. Now, in this list is there any Asian uh, universities? Yes, South Korea has 8 universities, China has 3 universities in the list, Japan has 8 universities in the list and India I have already told. Uh, one of the measure of a success of patent is translating patent applications into patent. The success rate of KAIST which is a Korean university is 82 percent. The success rate of Tsinghua University of China which is only 150 which is the 50 first in the list is about 65 percent. We are definitely lagging behind as you see from the data for IIT. Now, a little bit of comparison between India and China because we are supposed to run next to next, neck to neck so to say, which is not the reality. China is by far a very large uh, economy compared to our economy. Number of applications filed for invention in India which we already told 46,094. Number of patent applications filed for inventors in China 13,39,000. So, uh, we have no comparison. There could be many reasons for this. One is probably patent culture has not set in so much into our um, psyche, into our business philosophy or it is possible that China has been too lenient or maybe they are accepting each and every application or maybe they are little lenient in granting the patent, we do not know, but the quantitative difference is too high. So, as a future management, you the students have a responsibility to inculcate the patent culture in India in whatever way you can contribute, because that is how we can be in the forefront of technology that is how we can be innovation driven enterprises and that is how we can have more economic success. Thanks for your attention, but if you want to really know the source of this data, the links are given here which you can rely upon and maybe you can delve into the matter further. Thank you.